So today I took a look at the War Thunder dev blogs just to see if anything new was coming out and I was very pleasantly surprised to see that the Hungarian aircraft subtree had been announced. Of course we have a ground forces subtree in the Italian tech tree and it was expected that we would get an aircraft one fairly soon, I believe they even mentioned it at the time. And so you know, I was half expecting this to happen, it had been in some of the leaks for this update but I was very pleasantly surprised to see that it's actually coming. So I quickly checked on the dev blog to see what Hungarian aircraft we would be getting, such as the Vice WM-16 or WM-21, which were Hungarian biplanes, the HIA-1 and 2. The HIA-1 was a modified Italian Regiane RE-2000. The HIA-2 was a similar aircraft, but completely produced in Hungary and had new machine guns, new engines, etc, etc. Maybe the ME-210 CA-1, which was also produced in Hungary or maybe some of the various Italian and German aircraft that were used by Hungary during World War II. Of course, I was expecting there to be a few Soviet aircraft, especially in the higher tiers, because unfortunately Hungary didn't produce many aircraft. Unfortunately, it appears that there is not a single Hungarian aircraft in the Hungarian subtree, and it's not even the German or Italian aircraft that they used, it's just entirely Soviet aircraft. So the full list seems to be the Yak-9P, the IL-10, the Tupolev Tu-2, the MiG-15 BIS, MiG-17PF, the IL-28, MiG-21MF, MiG-21 BIS SAIL, MiG-23MF, SU-22M3, MiG-29912B, and the JAS-39C, or the, the Gripen. And while these are all very, very good aircraft, I'm a little confused as to why we're only getting foreign aircraft and not a single Hungarian aircraft in the Hungarian subtree. And like I say, I'm a little confused why it's just Soviet aircraft. I mean, I didn't particularly like the Soviet tanks being added as part of the Hungarian tank tech tree, but at least there were lots of Hungarian tanks in the early tiers, like the Turan 3, the 39M Charba, the Srini 2, etc, etc. And to be fair, it does say at the bottom that there are going to be other Hungarian aircraft implemented in the future, but does that mean later in the update, like, you know, they're going to be part of the dev server but aren't announced yet, or do they mean in a future update? I mean, it just seems truly bizarre that they've released a Hungarian subtree without a single Hungarian vehicle, and I know I keep mentioning that, but it just, it just really baffles me that they've done that. And I've seen a few people online saying, well, obviously... All of these aircraft will make Italy a much more fun to play nation. You know, adding all these Soviet aircraft and the uh, Gripen will just make it a much better experience. But why would you... I'm a little confused why somebody would want to play foreign aircraft in the Italian tech tree in the first place. Like, surely you play your chosen nation's tech tree to play their vehicles. Like, I wouldn't want to play the French tech tree because they might hypothetically add the German Panther tank into the French tech tree because of course France did operate the Panther tank for a little while. I wouldn't want to play the Japanese tech tree because I might get some sort of foreign variant of an American tank. I'd you know want to play to play Japanese vehicles. I, I, I'm just very confused why this is seen as a good thing by some people. And like I say, I'm not. It's not like I'm against any Soviet aircraft. I was expecting the higher tiers to be you know very heavily Soviet, but even the prop aircraft that just seem to be entirely Soviet. I'm just very baffled and confused to be honest. So hopefully we'll get some better news on the Hungarian subtree and to be fair they've got some very good camos for these aircraft. You know the artists have done a very good job as usual and yeah like I say maybe it will make the Italian tech tree funner to play but you know I'm probably not going to particularly be playing the Italian tech tree any more often than I already was because you know, I just want to unlock Italian aircraft, not Soviet aircraft. This doesn't really do anything for me personally. Um, but we'll have to see, you know, what happens in the future, what Hungarian aircraft we might get in the future. Uh, we're also told what the new update's called. It's, it's called Alpha Strike, so uh, that's some good news as well. And we have had the trailer, so we've seen some of the some of the other content that's being added as well, like the uh, Fox Armored Car, which is always good. But yeah, we'll just have to see what happens and what comes out in the dev server. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Tereno and I'll see you next time.